Shapinskas, sorry for that, will be presenting uh, the tool, as I said, which has been developed in the framework of Fair Sphere. Um, before we start, maybe we can uh, do the poll, um, this quick poll with our participants. Irina, if it's possible. Um, yeah, so you, uh, if, if everything works fine, you see some questions that we have prepared. And one of the questions is um, whether the data principles are relevant to your work, yes or no? Second question is, are you familiar with FairAware? And the third question is, have you used FairAware before? It'd be very interesting to know a bit more regarding these questions. And the question four will be, what do you think Theraway is? Uh, one of the most important questions for this. Whether it's a game about what FAIR is, whether it's a practical tool to test one's knowledge of FAIR, a tool to test how FAIR your data set is, or it's an antivirus software. So we really wonder what you think FAIRWare is. And responses are coming up, 55%, 66. Oh, great. Good participation. Seventy seven percent. Eighty eight. So now, probably. And the poll so that you could see the results. Thank um, you, Irina. And I'm sharing the results. All right, great. So, are the fair data principles relevant to your work? Well, 88% of particip participants think that it is relevant to their work. Very good. You are in the right room and the right presentation. Are you familiar with FairWare? 100%. Well, so do we have to explain something about this tool? Well, I hope that you will learn something new because we're presenting for the first time a new functionality of this tool for the training purpose. Have you used FairWare before? 63% of you have used it already. This is a really good, excellent finding. We're really pleased and we will be very interested to know what you think about this tool so far. Um, and for ones who don't know this tool, I hope that this demo will introduce some of the new features that might be relevant to your work. What do you think Fairway is? 63% majority in this case think it's a practical to tool to test one's knowledge of FAIR. Very good, well done. And 38% think that it is a tool to test how FAIR your data set is. Well, no, this is not correct answer. Correct answer is a practical tool to test your knowledge of FAIR. There are other tools testing the fairness of your data sets, such as Fuji, for instance. All right, thank you very much for your uh, answers. And now we can continue with the presentation. Thank you, Micah. Uh, next slide, please. So briefly, um, my name is Lina Shapinskas. I work as policy officer and RDM specialist at DANS, which is a Dutch national center of expertise and repository for research data based in the Netherlands, in The Hague. And together with Maike, we will be delivering uh, today's presentation on Fairware and its new functionality for training. So a bit about the context of uh, Fair Sphere project, fostering fair data practices in Europe. Uh, this project is one of the EU funded projects for the use of FAIR principles throughout the full research data cycle. It's about offering practical solutions addressing FAIR principles in the daily work of people working with data. So the key objective of this uh, project is accelerating, probably you have heard about this program, European Open Science Cloud from a very practical point of view, making sure that resources, tools, expertise, guidelines, and training supporting EOSC um, are shared across Europe and beyond. This is a three-year-long project with the end uh, next year, unfortunately, but this project will deliver a lot of practical tools that hopefully will sustain and promote the EOSC. Uh, Don's, uh, well, the institution that we work for is the coordinator of this project, and we are involved together with other 22 partners from eight EU member states in advancing um, their sphere. Um, the the fairware tool, uh, well, uh, next slide, please. So now you can see some snapshots of the fairware tool, how it looks online. 
The primary audience is researchers and data stewards, but it can be useful to anyone working with data. Uh, this tool has the primary objective to help users assess the understanding and knowledge of their principles and also to learn how to apply these principles in their daily practice. So it's a very hands-on tool, not requiring much prior knowledge because the tool itself gives uh, practical guidance and tips to better understand fair principles. There are 10 questions uh, guiding the user in the tool and they explain each of the five principles. Um, users will be successfully taking the first steps after completing the self-assessment in making their uh, data more fair. Um, next slide, please. Uh, yes, um, so this, this tool, here you can see also some images. Um, uh, it provides feedback after filling in a assessment. It shows the level of awareness of a user in terms of their principles. And also it shows the level of willingness to comply with these principles. So this is also good to see at what stage you are. This tool also provides space to give suggestions and uh, leave comments with regard to the use of tool. So this tool, of course, gives a practical uh, understanding and supports developing fair skills of users. Um, we also uh, regularly collect feedback from our users. This is the only way for us to also make sure that the tool is up to date, it's relevant and practical to users. So we always ask to spread the word, share your comments, share your experience about the tool so we can make this tool as relevant to your community as possible. Also worth while mentioning is that uh, this tool is also seen by us and uh, the development team also as a way to raise the conversation, spark up discussion on a fair data, what it is, how it could be improved, uh, how to implement it in daily practices. So we hope that this functionality, the new trainer functionality will also be uh, seen as a way to complement those discussions, to start those discussions and ignite conversations on fair data principles, on how to make sure that your data set is more fair. It's uh, maybe also worth mentioning, um, so it can be used for beginners as well, and also for people that are more advanced with fair data principles. As I said before, it uh, has supplementary information, uh, guidance text, examples of fair data principles that hopefully will also uh, provide more knowledge and also additional learning resources to learn more about fair principles and how to apply them in practice. So it can be an excellent exercise for your training, for your course, uh, or for discussions on fair data and data management. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the regard to current status, we have some good news to share with you since the launch in June 2020 with the first uh, version of Fairware. We have over 200 users. Uh, they come from across uh, the world and also representing different research domains. Uh, the biggest domains represented are social sciences and life sciences. We definitely want to get more uh, representatives from different uh, academic disciplines. Uh, primary uh, target group is well represented in the, these numbers. It's researchers and data stewards primarily, but also funders, data repository managers also find this tool useful. Uh, we hope that uh, the audience today will also find it as relevant as others have found this tool relevant. Mm, next slide, please. And now I would like to give a word uh, to my colleague, uh, Michael Verburg, to discuss and present more about what this tool can do for your training purposes. Thank you. Thank you, Linus. So this is where the actual demo part of the demo session starts and where we launch our new trainer functionality as an addition to Fairware uh, has been so far. Those of you who have used the tool before and have thought about implementing it for training may have noticed that in its current form, it wasn't the most easy to use for training. And this is something we've been gathering a lot of feedback about, and this has all uh, come together in our current uh, addition to the tool. And those with a keen eye who have looked at the tool page yesterday or maybe Friday have already seen the changes. Um, so let's dive in. I will demonstrate the steps from start to finish 
about how you can access this new functionality and how you can use it and analyze your users' results. So first step, get in contact with us. You can email the FAIR development team uh, and get uh, login credentials and the instruction manual to get access to the new trainer functionality. You can also download the instruction manual from the link, which has also been posted in the chat or is going to be posted in the chat. So you can take a look with us and follow the instructions as we go. Uh, apart from the login credentials, you will also need a course code. And this is your next step. You need to design that yourself. We have some recommendations in the instruction manual on how you can create a good course code. And as you can see in the image I put in here, for an event such as today, I would create a code uh, which says 2021-09 for September and then OS FAIR. And then you need to communicate this to everyone that you want to use FAIRWARE for your course or training or other event. So make sure that everyone that you want to see the results of knows this code. The next part is to simply let your users use the tool. Oh. Yep. Uh, make sure that they fill in the course code in the aforementioned field for it and make sure that they submit all their answers. And these are the only two, two prerequisites for you to download their results. The assessment takes approximately 10 to 30 minutes, and this depends on how much time you allow your users to spend on reading up on all the additional guidance information. So you can either use it as a very quick and short assessment, or you can let users browse through all the extra information and learn through that from the start. It's all up to you and you can tailor it to whatever you want to use our tool for. One important side note for this, is that Fairware doesn't process personal data. And we do have a couple of feedback uh, fields on the bottom of the tool. But we do not want your users to use this field to communicate to you. So you need to use another medium to do this because we do not want to see those uh, personal communications. If they want to leave feedback about the tool, of course, we're more than happy to receive that. After all your users have used the tool, the next step is to download the results. So you navigate to the Fairware website yourself and you click the download button, which is in the bottom left corner. You then fill out all the login credentials that you received from us and your personal course code. And then the results will be downloaded in a CSV file. The next step is then to analyze your results. And this is where we really made it quick and easy for you. You have the choice to either analyze the results however you like yourself or to use our ready-made template for it. The link is provided in the instruction manual and will also be posted in the chat so you can have a look at all the functionalities already. Uh, and this is where we make it really simple for you to analyze the results from your users because the process from downloading the results and having the, all the results ready for you and all the graphs produced shouldn't take more than five minutes. Uh, this is what the spreadsheet looks like. Uh, it comes with a large readme page with more instructions and some troubleshooting tips. Uh, and you only have to copy and paste the data that you downloaded and all the graphs will automatically update for you. The link that you get will force you to make a copy of our spreadsheet. So you have it for your personal use and you can edit it however you like. A small zoom in on the spreadsheet to, sh to show you what it consists of. First, you have the README page with the instructions and all the troubleshooting tips. Um, if you still uh, encounter some error or have some suggestions, also always feel free to contact us for any further help or a conversation about the spreadsheet, we're more than happy to. Then in the next step is where you paste all your data. So you can see that I did here a very, very small five person uh, data set for this uh, demo. Uh, and I just 
copied it from the spreadsheet that I downloaded and I uploaded it to here. We have two uh, information tabs, which uh, you don't have to do anything with, but show you how we label all the different domains and all the different questions in the use of the tool. And then last but not least, we have the result statistics. Let's see if it wants to work or if it's gonna skip it. The best part. Yes, there we go. So you can see that it produces different kinds of tables and graphs with all your information about your users. Um, and you can see here, I did a very small sample of different, not many different people and not many different domains. But you can imagine that if you uh, use this tool in a very large multidisciplinary audience, that those graphs will look even more interesting. Um, we have a lot of different result statistics in this template for you. An overview of the user's roles, domains, and organizations types. We have a timeline graph, which is relevant if you uh, collect your data over a longer period of time. You can see how the usage has been. We show the indications of the awareness for each question and the willingness to comply for each question. Um, and then we show a couple of different ways of um, the difficult topics that your users indicated, because this is often the place where your conversation or your discussion or your tailored support can start. So we show all the difficult topics that have been indicated, and we also show them based on each fair letter, for if you want to zoom in on that, and also split on domain, which again is very useful if you're using a multidisciplinary audience, you can see if the experiences and the difficulties uh, are different between the different domains. And then also included is the assessment of the fairware tool, which is something that is mostly important to us, but can also be something that you can discuss uh, in case you're using this tool to see whether the tool is nice. So this is all the different statistics uh, that you get in our, in our ready-made template. Um, and aside from that, you're also free to use anything uh, that you think is extra interesting. And we would love to hear if you know anything else that is interesting to know about these results. And we can add them to the template as well. So this is what the fairware trainer functionality entails. And as we've said multiple times before, we thrive on your feedback right now, but also uh, if you end up using this trainer functionality, we also love to hear afterwards how it worked for you and what you would change uh, and how we can make it more user-friendly because that is our ultimate goal here. Um, and for those of you with the very keen eye uh, may have seen that we also added new social media buttons to our website. So you can now more easily share the link to uh, Fairware with others in your community which we of course also highly encourage. So this is the end of the demo part. And now we have some time left for um, Q and A discussion, anything. So I will ask Irina to launch the next Zoom poll and I will hand over to Linus to see if anything in the chat has been happening while I've been talking. Yeah, thank you, Micah, very much. Just a small um, maybe update. Uh, the users don't have access to this uh, analysis template. It could be the case that it's only internally available. Um, maybe we can access, but others outside of the DOMS and kind of a, uh, they cannot access. So we have to check this uh, to make sure that uh, it's also That's very available. good to know. I will uh, look into that for sure. And uh, apart from that, yeah, I just see some Congratulations messages. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, and the question is, what is the best way to get feedback to you? Well, uh, as Micah said, uh, you can uh, email us. Um, you can also leave feedback in, on the tools website in the feedback section. Just uh, don't provide personal details if you, um, un un unless you're sending us an email. Um, so yeah, it's up to you how you prefer to engage, but we always welcome all comments, suggestions, and questions from you. Irina, are you able to launch the next Zoom poll? Yeah, maybe that's a moment where it's better to use your Mentimeter, because I, I don't know, it keeps showing me 
this this poll the one with which has did not the second one and i don't understand why oh maybe yeah it's, i think yeah now, now i figured it out sorry yeah, yeah. Now it's here thank you, thank you. So we have a couple of questions in which you can let us know your initial thoughts about the tool. Oh, we're very curious. Um, and keep going in the chat if you have any questions about the usability or if you have any other ideas for which this functionality may be of good use. It's also good for us to broaden our horizons beyond what we've been tailoring it for so far. So let us know. Half of the participants responded already. That's great. still 50 percent so i don't know well we can close it and mm -hmm. that's we can see the results see the results yes thank you so there are a couple of people who are likely to use this tool in training or anything uh related to that uh, some of them are still unsure. I'm curious if some of those would like to share their doubts or uh, if there's simply, if there are certain aspects of the tool that you are unsure about or if you're simply just on the fence. If anyone wants to uh, maybe raise their hand or share in the chat what their thoughts are about it, feel free to do so. If you have any other remarks or questions, you can also raise your hand if you would like to deliver them personally. All of the respondents would use uh, the tool for researchers, which is great. And is the most clear path for uh, using this in a trainer function uh, setting. Um, well, we were also very interested if people were uh, thinking about other audiences, but I think that's also something that needs to grow. Uh, so I'm very curious to see what, what it ends up being used for. And then we have a really nice three to four star rating uh, on the new functionality, which is uh, really great. So thank you very much. So if there are any other remarks or uh, questions, please let us know. And if not, I think uh, we will package Michael. it up. So yeah. I dropped in the chat box, I see a remark from Alsa Larson, if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, they say that um, can't answer to functionality as I haven't used it. So indeed, we might have to give some time um, to our users to actually test it and maybe share their feedback with us and Definitely. how it works. We were just curious about your first impressions on everything. Uh, and now it's time, uh, yes, to use it. That's the next step. So if no one has any remaining questions, I think uh, all that's left to say is thank you very much for your time. And if you're interested in using the tool, uh, please contact us at fairware at dons.knaw.nl. I never know how to say that in English, but. <laughs> uh, and also spread the word, of course, about the tool. Those are the two things that help us the most. Thank you very much, everyone, for your attention. And get in touch with us if you'd like to get to know more about the tool, about our work, or you would like to share some feedback with us. Yes. And have a lot of fun uh, on the other days of the Open Science Fair. We have another demo session of this functionality tomorrow. So if uh, anyone popped in your head, we want to share this with, you can also send them our way.
so they can watch the demo themselves. And uh, other than that, there are many other workshops and uh, lightning talks and demo sessions to also enjoy tomorrow and the day after. Looking at the arena, <laughs> it's a full pack program. So uh, enjoy yourself and have a nice evening. Bye bye, everyone. And thank you, Irina, for hosting very much. Yeah, and thanks a lot to Mike and Linus for this session and for the tool. Uh, very useful. Thanks. Have a nice thank evening. You.